Good day everyone, I'm Denise and this will be your week 7 task in Earth Science. The following are the lessons contained in this module. Types of Waste Effects of Waste on Human Health and Environment At the end of this module, you should be able to Describe how people generate different types of waste, solid, liquid, and gases, as they make use of various resources in everyday life. Explain how different types of waste affect people's health and environment. But before we proceed to our first lesson in this module, answer the pretest on what I know. Just read and understand each item and choose the letter of the correct answer. Use a separate sheet of paper for your choices that best complete the statement or answers the question. For your first written activity on what's in Activity 1, identifying biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Label B if it's a biodegradable and NB if it's non-biodegradable waste. For a second written work on what's new activity 2 checklist, check which of the following activities you follow and answer the corresponding guide question. I see that you have at least an idea to our lesson for today. I'm Harvard Del Santos and let me discuss you the types of waste. In some parts of Cagayan de Oro, flooding is expected whenever there are strong rain and winds. The aftermath of the flooding will have exposed another problem, poor waste management, the cleanup and the street due the garbage carelessly thrown anywhere. Waste is anything that we get rid of, throw away or do not use, while some items have arguably cannot be used again. Many are tossed before their time. Today, waste is a huge problem affecting every part of our environment from our water waste to our atmosphere, our grassy field to our forest. Our plans to people, waste are broken down into four parts. Four different types of waste generated by humans. 1. Liquid waste. Liquid waste is a commonly found both in household as well as industrias. This waste includes dirty water, organic liquids, wash water, waste detergents, and even rainwater. Solid waste. Solid waste can include a variety of items found in your household along the commercial and industrial locations. Plastic waste is consists of bags, containers, jars, bottles, and many other products that can found in your household. Plastic is not biodegradable but many types of plastic can recycle. Paper card waste. This includes packaging materials, newspaper, cardboards, and other products. Tins and metal. Applicants can packaging, paint cans, ceramics, glasses, figurines of jealousy, wine or liquor bottle. Glass can be recycled indefinitely. Organic waste. Organic waste is another common household. All food waste such as raw peeling and stems, garden waste such as grass clipping, branch and leaves, manure root and meat are classified as organic waste. Over time, organic waste is turned into manure by microorganisms. However, this does not mean that you, that you can dispose them anywhere. Hazardous waste this waste cannot be disposed of in regular garbage. Any product which is labeled warning, caution, poisonous, toxic, flammable, corrosive, reactive, or explosive should be considered hazard. 
For your third written work, Activity 3, How Humans Generate Waste, look around your house or your neighborhood. On the first column, list down the different ways in the household or your neighborhood. On this second column, write how humans generate this. For your last written work on what I have learned, Activity 4, Reflection Writing. Answer the following questions in 3 to 5 sentences. Make it straight to the point. Write legibly. For your performance task on what I can do activity 5, research activity using different sources, internet, books, TV, documentaries, YouTube videos, newspaper, etc. Find out different countries waste management strategy. Fill out the last column with the advantage of the programs. Fill out the guide questions below after you're done answering. You're now done in your task for lesson 1. Check your answer referring to answer key at the end of this module. I assume that you can now describe how people generate different types of waste, solid, liquid, and gaseous, as they make use of various resources in everyday life. Congrats and thank you learners. See you in the next lesson.